Check Hang the on. stream and see. Oh. This thing is You're offline. Hang on. All right. We're good. Take it All away, right. our DM. All right. Welcome to Criminal's Descent, a evil criminal campaign set in Descent in Avernus, where we took our evil characters from Dragon Heist and moved into Descent to Avernus. I'm your channel host and DM for this evening. I'm Zerft. How you doing? Uh, so, so yeah, uh, we started Criminal's Descent, and uh, we were joined by Robert. Do you want to start us off, or do you want to wait? Well, I mean, I mean, I guess I'll go second to last. I mean, I don't know what there is to explain. All right. I've always uh, been just, here. Uh, the character you're playing. Oh right, right. I'll uh, I'll go then. I'll go then. Right. Uh, I'm I'm <clears throat> I'm playing uh, Krakia Pred or as I think was it the Ritz who called me Predator, or was it um the big boss? It was the big yeah, boss. Yes. Yep. yep. The big boss calls me Predator, but um I am a Kenku or no not Kenku Arakaka Ranger, and uh, I like uh, I like hunting. And uh, gold. Gold is nice. It's shiny. I like shiny things. I, I just call you Big Birdie. <laughs> Big Bird. That, that is a nice name. <laughs> I do not mind it. <laughs> I will add that to my title list. <laughs> <laughs> go, Rit. You're up. There we go. Uh, I, I, it is now I, I boss. Um... Yes, I, I'm Rit. I'm a, a death domain cobalt cleric, and I uh, I keep the party alive uh, uh, by killing everything. Uh, for my god, uh, Kelmvor, since I'm a Kelmvor right, uh, cleric. I, I pray to Kelmvor all the time. That's best god ever. And uh, next up is Toby playing Vazek, the yep. higher muscle barbarian. Yeah, a bit of a, not the smartest tool in the shed, not the sharpest, or even a tool. He's... <laughs> Smash mouth? No, I wasn't actually, but I think I intentionally just did. Anywho, this is very much like Vazek, always kind of generally confused, bemused, and basically follows the big boss round, and punches anything he tells him to. In a thunderous fashion. Yes. Hence his middle name, Thunder Punch. Well, thank you, uh, Predator, little buddy, and Thunder Punch. I, of course, am uh, the boss. Shades Repente. Sometimes they call me Fitty. I don't know. Mainly, we just try to trick the DM into calling me that. And uh, what can I say? I had a good thing going for me and my crew in Waterdeep. I mean, we'd pulled off a successful dragon heist. Everything was going good. I was becoming a respected crime lord in the city. Even had, like, a patron slash... <clears throat> uh, extorted lady of Waterdeep helping finance our operation. Um, but what can I say? A member of my crew may or may not have said something untowards to a Lord of Waterdeep uh, in one of the city council in one of the city council meetings, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the mass Waterdeep. Yeah, he kind of told the Mass Lord of Waterdeep, suck something, choke on something, I yield my time, F off, whatever. You know, death domain cleric stuff, typical benedictions. But they did not appreciate it, and next thing we know, we're having to get the heck out of Dodge. Had to relocate to Baldur's Gate, thereabouts, where we were... Fortunately, we were attempting to expand there anyways, because, you know, 
my crew, we deserve the whole Sword Coast to ourselves, right? Not just one city. That's how awesome we are. Yo, that's epic. So, you know, that's where we met somebody who was uh, helping us expand down in Baldur's Gate, uh, Craig here. Um, and, uh, you know, so Rid and I, we went down there ahead of things. Things went south. Some stuff went down, like literally down, down to hell. Next thing I know, this whole town we're in, just outside Baldur's Gate, is in like one of the hells of Avernus, you know, one of those levels, something or other. What's her name, that fallen angel? What's her name, runs the place? Um, Ariel. Is Ariel. <sighs> Fortunately, my crew was able to get back together. We got reunited just in time for me to have this crazy dream premonition, whatever you want to call it, about my mystery patron that gave me my shadow abilities. It's not really something I like to talk about. Okay. And, you know, Vazak's over here telling me that he's got these weird dreams about his old boss you know in a prior crime life having to stab them or something i don't know it's just a lot of freaky stuff going down next thing you know everyone thinking well at least we're all back together we can get back on track get back to taking care of business then it's just like we're in hell we're going towards a cathedral you know, it's just mass hysteria outside, cats and dogs playing together, just just madness. Terrible. And uh, nothing made sense. We go to the cathedral. Next thing we know, we're being sent into, like, the wildlands of Avernus. I don't know what. We got schnookered. Somebody promised me something about meeting my patron. Next thing I know, we're getting abandoned in the middle of Hellscape. And uh, apologies to the Duke. What's his name? I know we were gonna, gonna come look for you, and you're probably holed up in your uh, in your safe room, uh, still in the in the cathedral. We'll try to circle back at some point, but then again, help yourself. You know, you know how that goes. <laughs> you know, dims the brakes. Uh, and uh, fortunately, we picked up some soul coins along the way. Just enough. I mean, I don't know what happens exactly. You just kill people and then you get soul coins, which, you know, we can do that. Right, guys? Yeah. I mean, that's that's kind of our thing. Yes, I believe so. So next thing you know, we got a pocket full of change. It's like payday or something. Yeah. So uh, we got ourselves a ride. And I'm I'm stuck (laughs) driving on the side of it. And... Yeah, well, sorry, Predator. I mean, I need your eyes up high, right? I mean, we're not exactly familiar. It's not like I got Google Maps down here. <laughs> so, uh, I kind of need the... you. To... Or whatever the uh, water deep version of Google is. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's still a little screwed up. Thunder Punch, he did something or other with some ick, I don't know what. So now he's gone supersized, you know. So we're cutting off the McDonald's for him. Until he can get back to until he can get back to normal size, hopefully, and start riding inside the car instead of on top of the car. Um, and Rit, I don't know, man. He just keeps ringing the bell back there, annoying me. He's riding in the back seat, all stretched out. We're trying to find this restaurant slash, you know, refueling station slash, you know, corner store that popped up up ahead. I'm aiming towards it. Maybe we can get some snacks. Maybe get him a coloring book. I don't know. Something. Get some directions. That's that's where we're headed. So hey man, let's uh let's do this. Yeah. Ooh, yes, boss. We're going to hop let's into the tormentor. Oh. And we all disappeared. Yay! Oh, you're you're going to have to right. Oh well, actually, I'm flying on the side. No, we need to be on front. 
We need you need to push the tormentor to a uh, lower layer. Yep. Lower layer. Yeah, just push it back. Just push back. Push back. The tormentor. Then hit right click on the thing and just hit go to back. Back. All right. There we go. There you go. Well, this is going to be interesting. And uh, Thunder Punch is what, large size right now? Uh, he, no, he's not large. <laughs> oh my god. He's so medium size, guys. He's yeah, just he's really, a really. <laughs> yeah, he just weighs a thousand pounds. Oh, I'm, I'm very glad I'm not uh, right in here. I bet, he, I bet he smells horrible. All that fat and um, the heat. And the humidity, oof. Yeah. Does not, uh, does not feel good. That's why he's riding up top. I stay calling in hell. <laughs> it will be muscle, my friend. One day. So, you're down in the fields of Avernus. There is boiling pits that spit up fire, lava everywhere, the blood and the sound of demons and devils fighting for the blood war. You're traveling to the wondering marketplace run by Rashaka to pick up supplies or whatever you can. But as you travel, you run into a small problem. Oh God, that That's is a bigger a lot. problem. That is a bigger problem. Damn your eyes, predator! You were supposed to look out for that. I was trying to. I'm sorry. My eyes. It's very hot in here, and the smoke and the the dead and, and the you screaming. You hear the sound of war drums banging. I sure hope that's Thunder Punch's stomach. Rit, Rit adds a little bell music to it. Ding dong. You see a boar with a huge maul come up and shout Death! Death to those who trespass on my domain. Now, now would be a good time to Roll initiative. All right. We're screwed. Our little friend. Oh, gosh. Yes. Ooh, there we go. time for some partying all right so i need to go over some of the things you have on this vehicle you have a harpoon flinger and one of you has to stay on the helm to drive yeah that'll be me you have crushing wheels and and your weapon attacks on this vehicle will be Oh, yeah, you also have scythes on the front. But you got a larger vehicle in front, uh, behind you. So I wouldn't recommend using those. So you have a harpoon gun. It takes, uh, it gives you one half cover and one crew member to run it. Since Vazic's already on top, I'm assuming he's going to be tried to use a harpoon gun. <laughs> At least initially. Cool. Try is the word. So, yeah, you see this huge thing called a demon grinder. And uh, it's moving forward to you, and you're pretty sure these guys are going to kill you. 
So, Vaze, what do you want to do? Okay, explain that last part to me again. They pretty much <laughs> want to kill you. Oh, but you said something about a demon director? Demon grinder is what the vehicle's called. Okay. Did uh did Mad Madge or whatever her name not have one of these in stock? Oh, she did. You just couldn't afford it. Oh, damn it. I would have liked to at least test drove in it, at least. This is time to upgrade, right? Hey, this is God, an upgrade. It's a, it's a shift from Desert Desolation all over again. <laughs> yeah, I suppose I'll fly the harpoon. All right, well, hold on. Okay, so um, that's cool. All right, so uh, do I need to do initiative for my uh, for for um, my Falcon Maltese, or is he just gonna go on my initiative? He'll go on your initiative because he's more or less a pet. Okay. So, but I will do another roll. Where is our little friend on the map? Is he the giant demon corner? Alright. For one other character I just remembered. Bang, bang, what? Okay. Bang, bang, city, bang, bang. Bang bang Lulu. Lulu bang bang. <laughs> you know that song, Robert? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know it, Michael? She she bang bang. No. Then I don't know it. Okay. Alright, All right. so let me go ahead and uh, this will be my opening salvo. I'm going to cast uh, Dragon's Breath on Maltese. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Which is a bonus action. So what are some maneuvering things I can do? Uh, maneuvering things. Like, can I pull the parking brake and spin around so that way our harpoon is facing them instead of... Well, the harpoon's in the back. Oh, our harpoon. Yeah, we a, can spin the harpoon a, around. A, right? Yeah, okay. that thing's sticking out of the back. Okay. So, crushing wheels. You said there's scythes in the front and then a harpoon Scythes. in the back. Yeah, there's a harpoon in the back. And Vazek can man the harpoon, is that what you're saying? Yeah, if you want to. Or wait, no, the harpoon's inside the machine. Vazek's going to have to fling himself on the other machine. That was the problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so what's the movement speed of this vehicle? Uh, your vehicle? Or yeah. their vehicle. Our vehicle. Uh, it is 100 feet. 100 feet, and we're going wh at what speed right now? 100 oh, feet? You're kind of going. It's like your typical Sunday morning drive. You weren't thinking of anything. You're like, beep, beep, hello. Kind of speed, you know, just greeting everybody. They're probably hauling like no tomorrow. Zoom. Yeah, I'm going to tell you right now, you cannot outrun these guys. Yeah, I'm not going to try to outrun them, but I was going to see if I can outmaneuver them and maybe get behind them. Uh, do you have a land vehicles check? Of any or, 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 a, or at least alongside them. All right, do you have a land vehicle skill check of any kind? Let's see. I probably don't. Nope. Only thieves tools is the thing I have. All right, then. Roll Did anybody else have a land vehicles? Um. Who? I do. You do. The guy <laughs> who's flying. The yeah, guy yeah. that we threw out. I see. Yes. Love, lovely planning. Lovely planning. This is typical. This is. Hey, man. That's how we roll. Okay. Yeah, you got the usual uh, things of disengage and dash. 
but even if you did dash, you wouldn't outrun it. And who knows what else is out there. So let's disengage. Let me see if I can just pull off a disengage. So they've got that wrecking ball in front, and and they've got claws on the back. Is that what they got? Yeah. Yeah. Let me see if I can pull alongside them. All right. So what do I need to roll? So I guess this would be. a good question because I'm thinking either survival or acrobatics. Yeah, let's go with survival. Damn it. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna say that I can do acrobatics much better than I can do survival. Because you are flinging for your lives. Alright, so you're saying this is a wisdom based check. Well let's make it a dex check. Let's go back, back, because you're moving the wheel, right? Yeah. All right. How hard of a turn is it? It's not that hard of a turn. I'm just trying to get alongside them, not a, not like... Uh, uh, you fail to uh, get alongside them, and all you do is manage to turn the thing around. Okay. And, Vazek, make me a deck saving throw with disadvantage. Question, would the disadvantage be cancelled out by danger sense? Since it's dex. Yes. Yeah, I suppose it will. But you also have to remember, to be honest, can a thousand pound Goliath move properly? True. <laughs> Apparently, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you mentioned hanging on, but at the same time, right, you're just uh, hypnotized by what appears to be like a lava lamp. A lava lamp. Ooh, Ooh that's pretty. Because Vazek's body is jiggling. <laughs> <laughs> nice. that, that 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 is not pretty. <laughs> okay, so all right, uh, so so my Maltese Falcon is gonna dump uh his breath onto uh onto these guys. Okay. Oh, what are our stats? What are our stats for our vehicle? Uh, it has uh thirty hit points, twenty three AC. No, wait, that's the wrong one. You have twenty one AC and sixty hit points. Sixteen or sixty? Sixty. Okay. Any vulnerabilities or resistances? Vulnerabilities or resistances? It's immune to blinded. Oh, immunities to fire, poison, psychic. Okay. This was all in in explained to us by by Mad Madge before we left. Yeah, man. All right. So. Immune to fire, poison, and psychic. So, uh, Maltese Falcon is gonna spray breath, acid breath, uh, on the, on the, uh, towards the, towards that vehicle, and any, and any, in any inhabitants that it sees that may All be right. exposed. All right. So let me just look up the stats of the f Falcon. Real quick, just so that we have that, because I don't think I put it on my character sheet, and I should have. I think it's stats for Hawk, right? Hawk Falcon, yeah, Hawk. So Hawk has flying speed of sixty. He's not gonna. He's just gonna get to like the edge of of the vehicle, of our vehicle, I should say. Actually, no. I guess he can he can get to their edge, right? What's what's that distance between our vehicle and theirs? Ten feet? Yeah, that's a good question. What's the distance? 
Uh, distance is, I'll say multiply it times two. So I say about 20 feet. Okay. Well, he's got a fly of 60. All right. So he'll go towards um, like halfway point right here in between. I don't know if I need a marker or not, but I'll move him just to show where he is. I'll move myself just to show where he's going to be. And from there, he'll do acid breath. All right. Uh, which is 3d6 dex save. So there uh, on the machine is, uh, or in the machine, I say, is a, on top is a, the leader wherefore. Mm -hmm. And let's see. I believe there should be two more werebores and two were rats. So should should they be on on the machine located if they're outside? They're in the machine, but you can see within the machine from the okay. Falcon. All right, Falcons have pretty good eyes. Okay. So, anyways, so that's a uh, fifteen points of acid. Uh, on the top wearboard on site, and whoever, yeah, and they were and or the machine, right? Either the machine or its inhabitants, right? That works like a regular dragon breath weapon, or yeah. So it's a it's so the the text of it is on our chat on our on the world twenty chat. So it's uh. Yeah. Okay. 15 All foot right. 15 foot quone. Each c creature in that area must make a deck saving throw. Taking 3d6 damage on a failed save for half on a successful, and it was 15 acid damage. So, oh, his minions saved. Oh, how much damage was it? 15? Yeah, 15 acid, so half if they saved. And then he'll fly back and perch up top the vehicle. And the vehicle is still sturdy. Okay. Good. Yeah, you, you didn't put a dent in the vehicle at all. Okay. I mean, it looks like it did something to it, though, right? Yeah, something, but not much. Right. Okay. So then, like I said, uh, Maltese will fly back to the to our vehicle and perch himself right. up top. All right. Magic, just... it's your go. You said this is a 20-foot gap between our vehicles, right? Right. I can't make that jump. Unless you were launched from a harpoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's about so smart enough to figure that out. <laughs> would it be something that I would yell? That Shades would yell at Vazek? Not Shades, but maybe Rich. Because it sounds like a dumb idea, but it sounds like an idea Rit would do. What, jump to the other vehicle? That's not something Rit would do. No, no. launch Vazek from a harpoon to the other vehicle. <laughs> no, that might be something Rit might do. <laughs> <laughs> we stick Rit on the end of a harpoon. I mean, I think it's small enough. Yeah, that's my concern. It's like, how is it going to launch me? I'm just imagining I'm just gonna get launched into the floor. This goes like an this goes like a foot and then you You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, let's do it. Right. Launch me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll hold action for when he fires. Alright. Uh, Where are we safe? 
and <laughs> oh my god, oh, I forgot he. <laughs> I forgot that uh, Ray's got one of the last turns. Uh, the Werebore go next, and they are going to use their Wrecking Ball. Uh, they're going to move up slightly, use their Wrecking Ball, which is a D20 plus. Oof. Oh, that's right. You got a 21 AC and misses. Yep. Hey. So you see this uh, wrecking ball try to hit you. Just kind of swings past us. Swings past you. But you can feel the force of it. And it's like... It's like, it's like that oh shit moment that this... This is happening. Yeah. All right. So, All right. so, so we're in their angle of uh, mm-hmm. reach for that wrecking ball. We don't have to be directly in front of them. Yeah, they kind of moved up. All right. I will uh, land onto the the our car basically, <laughs> and uh, I will uh, I will take a look. Do I uh, see the werebore? Uh, you see the head where Boar is like swinging his hammer ball up like uh, one of those Tuscan Raiders going. <laughs> I will uh, I will cast Hunter's Mark on him. So there we go, and then I will take two of my arrows and uh, try and shoot him. Right. Is, is he a monstrosity? Uh, is he a monstrosity? Let me check. Uh, where boys? No, they are a humanoid. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Uh, boop. Hit. For 17 piercing. 17 piercing. Followed with the second one, which I'm assuming hits. For another 17 piercing. So 34 damage. Uh, question. Yes. Do these count as magical? They are. It is shoot. It's shot from a plus two longbow. So yes. Just making sure. This is all good. But uh, yes. So total of uh, thirty-four damage. And I will like fly up onto the perch. Oh wait, no, no, wait. That is where Ritz is going to go. No, I will stay where I am. All right. Yes. That is my turn. Alright, Rit, your turn. Are you gonna launch Vazek? Yes, yes. Uh what 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 am I doing? Am I doing a attack roll? Like a... Yeah. It would be a uh I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a deck space attack roll. Uh cool. Or cool. or a harpoon. No, it's gonna be an attack roll plus seven. Attack roll plus seven. So basically regular range attack with D twenty and Plus, uh, okay. plus seven to hit. That hits. 20 hit. Yeah, uh, Vazic, as you were just about to bend this harpoon thing off the machine as it's popping a willy, Red aims and fires, and you launch as you see this huge, huge. Barbarian just hit the machine. You hear this loud boom. It kind of ricochets the whole machine as this thousand pound barbarian lands <laughs> right on the demon grind. All right. Now, if that's all you're going to do, Red? Uh, I think so, yes. That's all Lulu I can do. Start. Lulu uh, looks at uh, the. Uh, do we move? Sorcerer. Do we move Vazak's uh, token? Oh yeah, uh, let's move his token over here. He's going for a ride. He's having a party. And everyone's like, "See you later." I. 
Enjoy the party. Just kidding. No, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, anyways, uh, Lily goes, let me take the helm. You go help your friends. What? No. Not letting you drive. That's you Lulu. have your license. That's Lulu? I have yes. a license. Yeah, Lulu. She goes, I have a license and speed, and she pulls her goggles right over <laughs> her eyes. Oh, God. Please do not let her drive. <laughs> <laughs> do you know. let her drive? Who's Lulu again? Uh, the tiny pink the, elephant from last session. The pink elephant? Oh, okay. Uh, oh, our pink elephant? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm all all right with the pink elephant driving the truck. What else can happen, right? Oh, oh dear God! What's the worst thing can happen? God. All right, if you're going to do that, I am probably going to get off. <laughs> okay, so the Lulu was telling me to to let let Lulu take the wheel. Pretty much. Uh. uh... What would shades do? What would shades do? Would he be a crazy, crazy guy, or would he be sane and not let the basically child elephant drive? Does Does the elephant even have thumbs? <laughs> That's a dang good question. Or does Does she use her like trunk or something and just like? I'm gonna go tell crazy. Lulu go hose them down or something. I've got the wheel. <laughs> The trunk can hold hold the wheel. That's no problem. Dear God. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then that, that is the whole conversation between you and Lulu. I mean, she can try to convince me, persuade me or something. But... Okay. Let's do a persuasion. Uh... I don't see the roll. Uh, yeah, because they don't give her that. Uh, I'll give her a plus three. Fourteen. Okay, apparently the elephant's got the wheel. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you're, you're, the- you're, you're right, Lulu. I, I've, there's much more I could be doing than just simply driving. The, the boss can't be expected to drive. He's the boss. He shouldn't be driving. He should have a driver. Let, let me drive. I know how to drive cars. Wait, <laughs> no, carts. Not cars. What, what the fuck? What, what is a car? <laughs> you just hear the, uh, the uh, Holly Fun take the, uh, the wheel and just go... <laughs> <laughs> and just go. Oh, oh, what a day! What a lovely day! Oh, by the by the God, we are going to die today. <laughs> I wish us all luck. T- today's a good day to die. Oh God! I'll, uh, I'll meet y'all in front of Kelmvor. I'll introduce y'all to him. <laughs> I do not plan to die today. Yeah. Rit 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 sounds like a squeaky version of Worf. Today is a good day to die. <laughs> uh, so well, actually, that's kind of how I see Rit. That's yeah. a squeaky version. Of it. Squeaky wars. <laughs> <laughs> so shades, it is your turn. You've given the wheel to Lulu. This is something that I'm probably gonna regret. I mean, if she crashes the car, then uh, we have a new one. Yeah. You know, so Vazak is right in the middle of where I would drop a fireball. So that's off the. That's that's off right now. <laughs> no, not yet. Do it. Not yet. Okay. Um. Who's up there? Who's up top with with him? Because didn't 
Weren't the, some of the war boars uh, get jumping the, out? The, the the head war boar, the other war boars and white rats are manning the machine. Um. Okay. So first of all, um, I'm gonna have Maltese spray dragon breath acid, acid dragon breath on that war boar, uh, such that he doesn't risk getting Vazak or. Uh, I think all he can all right. do is hit that aim for that guy. All right, so that would be a dex save. For 3d6 acid damage, I think we said, right? Hmm. So is that what it was? Dragon's breath? Yes. 3d6. Yes, yes. Oh, wow. So, yes. so 15 points of acid damage on that boar. Well then, how is how is he looking? He looks bloodied. That's the poor little board. He on. looks bloodied. Let me see what I can do about that. Uh, I will. Is yeah, I will. Uh, choke a bitch. <laughs> Fifteen. What? Chill touch on that board. Mm. Uh, deck save? No, that's an AC uh, T, uh, 15 to hit. Oh, 15. Uh, let me check. There C. Yeah, that hits. All right, 10 points in necrotic damage to that boar. He is not looking good, but he's still up. Uh, yeah, but, but Thunder Punch is next. So uh, anyways, Maltese is coming back to me. Coming is perching and perching back. Maltese is gonna perch on uh on Predator's uh shoulder. Oh. Get a little image of bird on the top of oh. the bird shoulder. I, I do not know bird, how to feel about this. Bird on bird action. <laughs> oh god, not, <laughs> not that. I not was that afraid bad. you're gonna go there. Bad. Where, where's the spray bottle? <laughs> Bad birds. Bad birds. <laughs> All right. Uh, it is now Vazek's turn. You're in front oh my of God. a, <laughs> a wereboar on top of the demon grinder. That is moving very fast. What do you want to do? To get to my feet. Pull out mm -hmm. a greatsword and mm -hmm. take the swing at the wearable boss. Mm -hmm. That'll hit. 15 damage. Still up. Thanks. Swing it. That'll hit. Another 14. Very much is still not looking good. <laughs> Let me just check something. Never mind, can't do that. Um... That's my go. Now it's a werebore's turn. And let's see. What is the board going to do? It's going to attack with its maul and then attack with its tusk. So the Wait. first one. So we did like almost 55 points of damage to that well, but we're boring still up, right? Or, it's a boss where I bore. I see. It is, it is taking the damage. It is going the distance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's small attack at 16. Does that hit you, Vazic? You take uh, 10 damage. And nice. here come the tusks. Oh, yeah, that will hit. 
Make a constitution oh. saving throw. Oh, God, this is going to turn into a fat werewolf. <laughs> oh, no, he's fine. Take uh, 10 damage. And then uh, some other werewolves are going to come up. And then they're going to attack you with their maul. Hits. 10 damage. Oof. And the tusks. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Roll Tony's brutal today. Dang. You're raging, though, right? So is this halved? Yeah, yeah this yeah. is a little half. I'm fine. Yeah, as Muglo, that's taking hits like all the time. Uh, I guess that's another 10 damage. Reduced to 5. Yeah. Uh, make a constitution saving throw. Just barely saves. And now for the next wherefore. As the two were rats are manning the machine. Were rats? Were rats. It's another 10 damage from the uh, mall attack. And here comes the tusk as it comes charging right at your corner. <laughs> Completely misses. That's why I get for trying to describe a nice little attack. It misses. <laughs> and that's going to be their go. That's it. Eric Coker turn, and you see three wearboards on top of this uh, vehicle. Have you got it's tokens a... for them so that we can see who's on there? Uh, Is the... They didn't give me any wearboard tokens, surprisingly. Yeah, just throw uh, something on there. Let me check that token page real quick. Is the uh, big big one still alive? Just. Yeah. Just still alive? Yeah. Perfect. Um, I will aim a shot at him with my... Uh... My uh, longbow. First shot. 22. For 14 damage. Followed up by... Ooh, that's the natural one. So I believe that is a miss. Yeah, so uh, 14 damage, you said? 14 damage, yes. Barely up. Come on. Ah, my turn. I will then uh, Slayer's Prey, uh, one of the other boars. The one who uh, who whacked uh, the big Goliaths uh, pretty hard. Mm, yes. That is my turn. Hello? Yeah. It's it, your it, turn. It, that, that, that's I said I was done. Yeah. Sorry about that. I was just uh, putting on the tokens. It is all good. All right. So, so the wearboard is still up, and there's three on there. Uh, did, um, didn't Aaron hit one with chill touch? Yeah, he did. Chill touch. I don't know if it was bad, but you. Oh, uh, never mind. Never mind. Ch Chill really touch uh, is necrotic, and it also stops anybody from regenerating. Incidentally, uh, that might have been the point that he was trying to make. Uh, no, I, I was reading the other part, when, which I didn't really bother to read clearly, which says only for undead, unless werewolves are considered undead. No. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what did you say, uh, Pete? Uh, you lost your audio, Pete. Ooh, lots of roboting. Yeah, you're roboting right now. Domo Arigato. 
Oh my god, so is it cleared up yet? No, oh, there we go. Yeah, it's working. Yeah. Reconnect or something. Um so the 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 big guy we've been beating on is still alive, right? Yeah, the big guy is still alive. Okay. Um, and uh, with my uh, with my ability. Try to disconnect, reconnect because my audio is really bad. I do not know why that is happening. Keeper. Okay, so you get to do a second attack. That will hit. Nine points in necrotic. This is to which wear board? The two minions or the big one? I think, uh, I think he's. I think he said the first one was to the big one. Sorry, Pete, we can't hear you, or I can't. Anyways, looks like you're trying to talk. Oh, technical difficulty, everyone. Yeah, and just this happens sometimes. Is it any better? Yep. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I just disconnected and reconnected. Um, yeah, there'd be a, a one of minions because I missed the boss. All right. Me... And of course, uh, because I'm a death player, um, they get no resistances to my my necrotic spell if they head in. <laughs> All right, they are still up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of figured that. I missed. Yeah. And, uh. Oh, that's my turn. Yeah, it's your turn. And Lulu's like, hold on tight! And she pops the wheelie on two wheels, <laughs> moves your vehicle all the way over here, and goes, You can hop on any on your friend. I made a bridge! As the thing's hanging, like, slanted on top of the other one. And that'll be your go. Except for except for everyone's range taggers. <laughs> so it's back to me, right? And Maltese. So Maltese <laughs> is gonna go right here to where she he's lined up with all three of these, including the boss. So 15 foot cone should get, ah. should get all three of them. So that's deck saves for all of them. Meanwhile, let me roll 3d6 for the acid damage. So it looks like they all failed their deck saves for eight points of acid damage. And Maltese will try to fly back. Welcome back, my bird companion. <laughs> my new bird companion. How's, you are mine now. How's boss doing? How's boss hog doing? I have one question for you. What's that? How's Maltese in him? Well, boss hog is now completely marinated with acid. So that's how you cook him. We also have acid. Well, it was acid breath. So yeah, he's his skin starts melting off. His uh, his. You slowly watch as this uh, wereboard begins to decay and further wither away, and it is melt into the single coin. Nice. Let us go. Let a multi swoop down and pick that coin up before he bring and bring it back to me. 
so that was Boss Hog, right? Yeah, it's Boss Hog. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and frostbite uh, Hog number two that's been beaten on uh, Vazak. So that's a Constitution save for ten points of cold damage. Doesn't save, so take the full 10 damage. That's right, and they now have disadvantage on their next weapon attack. How do you end this uh, boar? Oh well, this one he's uh, he's on ice now. <laughs> so he, uh, what's he swinging? What kind of uh, weapon was he? A maul. So all of a sudden, his the his he drops the maul because his hands are so cold. And uh, the maul falls towards his feet. He loses his footing, and then he just falls off the the machine dead. Falls off the machine, sucks up into a coin. Yeah. All right, Vazak. I softened him up for you, man. Thank you, boss. I'll take a swing at this last ball that's on the top with me. <laughs> Come on, roll for me. God dang, Big Max. Need to lay off the super size, man. Move to swords. <laughs> So thank you, boss. So how, how this is horrible. But what if we get a chance to try to pull this off of a critical fail? So for your critical fail, as you have gained so much weight and it is hot you're in you're the sweaty? edges of hell because you're in the first layer of hell, you're sweaty. You swing and you miss, and all that blubber shakes off all that sweat, and it becomes this huge, like, pool of water that's like it comes out of a bucket and spews all over your comrades over here. Right. And, so it's, and it smells like french fries. It smells like old McDonald's burgers. And yeah. French stale fries. Stale fries have been left in the back of the car for like a week. I'm staying there. All right, now it's the. But not quite as salty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's Wearboard Stern. He's going to do two uh, uh, attacks. Uh, One's a one's a mall. Does that hit? Yes. Take ten damage. And now it lowers its head, aims straight, stares directly at you, aims, charges forward with its tusk. Hits. Constitution saving throw. Oh, damn! Uh oh. So we are getting a a, a very large wear bore. Uh oh. Uh, don't don't you make your constitution saving throw the advantage? Nope. That's Unless just, it's, that's just strength saving throws. It's just strength saves. I thought you got something as raging barbarian for constitution. Nope. It's only strength based. What about as a Goliath? Not that I can think of. I've got advantage against poison from the belt dwarf and kind. But I don't think that, that might work if this is a poison effect. I think I would argue it's more of a disease, but yeah, it's up to you. Let's see. First one, remove curse or witch soul. It's right now. Remove curse. Mm-hmm. 
Why don't you want to be a werebore? Sure, why not? I'd be a werebore. I think you'll enjoy it. Alright, so as uh, Bazic, you feel really sick all of a sudden, and you can't explain why, but you love people who eat bacon. All of a sudden. Mm, bacon. Oh, but I love bacon. <laughs> so, and, so in other words he feels self-loathing right now yeah <laughs> and 10 uh, another 10 damage extracted from your range uh, I'll have to use we... bone centurance so as a reaction d12 plus my con mod Well, that endured all of it, right? Yeah, that reduced everything I took this turn. But that doesn't add to your saving throw, right? No. No. It reduces the damage. Yeah, it's just damage. And uh, now it is your turn, Robert. Well then, there's only one left. I will uh, move my Hunter's Mark onto that one, and I will uh, take a double shot. One, two, two shots. Uh, 20 and a 26. Those will hit. For 16, 19, 35 damage. Now you want to end up? Just uh, two arrows just fly through the air. Uh, while I'm kind of floating in the air, and uh, pierce uh, twice into his heart. It pierces right to his heart, and, like, and it sucks in the coin, and arrows are right next to the coin. That would be cool. Nice. And you got your arrows. Hey, I got my arrows. Hey. I'll get some of them back, at least. <sighs> right then. Who's still driving? I mean, who's still driving that? Yeah, car? is this thing stopped? But there's still the two wear rats within it. Oh, I will uh, suggest you two uh, get out. Hey, boss, we should we should recruit the wear rats onto our side. <laughs> well, that. there's only room for four people in there. That's why the wear board was riding on top. Well, well. We we do have two vehicles now, right? We can have one rat drive each vehicle. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather have one of us drive the vehicle, but like them to help ban it, I do not see a problem. Is is that okay with everyone? Sounds good to me. All right then, I guess I'll get to drive uh, drive one now. You do better join us, correct? I'll look to the two, two wear rats. I know, you're gonna have to ask the boss. The boss is right here. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm gonna whisper towards Rick, kill the rats. Yes, boss. See a red because uh, I always wanted to do this with red is just like thinking, contemplating it. A cobalt comes up from behind with a pillow and starts smothering it. <laughs> if if you mean if you mean uh, uh, pillow as in uh, dagger and. Uh, uh, Smother as in stab in the back. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> oh, jeez. So he kills one way around. And he's like, hey, wait, 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 wait. Let's talk about this. Are you going to join us? I thought you could. I don't think the other warlords will like that. And we will fuck them up too. Say say hi to Kellenvor uh, when when you when you meet him. Stab stabby stab. Think of <laughs> it. 
in their dead wire eyes. I tell him you have to kiss my you have to kiss my falcon if you want to swear <laughs> allegiance. <laughs> and of course, no, Ma- Mal- Maltese will French kiss him with acid breath. <laughs> So I'm you glad I have uh, two vehicles. I can uh, I can drive the big one. All right. Hey, which one's better for Vazak, the big one or the other one, or ours? Probably the big one because he weighs a thousand pounds and he's like three times his normal. Nice. There we go. I will be uh, I will be controlling this one. Uh, do you still want your elephant friend uh, controlling? Uh... Sure, she's a better driver than I am. Uh, she hits the brakes and smashes her head on the steering wheel. And she goes, wait a minute, I just suddenly remembered. Oh, what did you remember, friend? The Sword of Zerial is in the Bleeding Citadel. Fuck is the... I think we did like a map or something. Never heard of this. The Sword of Zerial is in the Bleeding Citadel? Yeah, it's the even... hill, I think, that's up the way. What's that... even the... But we're still going to... Is that restaurant still off in the distance? The restaurant at the end of the... Yeah, Gal... okay. yeah, the restaurant's still there. All right. <laughs> we're first going to stop at the restaurant at the end of the universe. Oh, you don't remember what she said last time? Last no, time. I, I I do, but it still has not been explained to, like, what what it actually is. It, it has just been brought up that it is the Sword of Zeriel. It is the sword that can uh, ultimately redeem Zeriel and turn her back to an angel form and no longer having a arch devil ruling the first light of hell. Which means that we could rule, right? Yes, yes. but you're going to have to fight a bunch of candidates for it. I'd be man. down for that. Potato, tomato, so man. Yeah. You act like we don't do that already. <laughs> <laughs> Just killed one rival right here. So as you sell in with the dead lycanthropes, Vazek, you feel a little funny. So, Rit, see if you can take care of Vazek. He doesn't look too good. Uh, tomorrow, boss. Tomorrow. <laughs> sun will come up tomorrow. I don't believe that. There... Is there a sun here? I will look around yeah. for a sun. See, how do I go to the old place? Hmm. Uh, what did you say, Red? How, how do I know what date is? How do how do I know when when my my deity gives me new spells or not? When you close your eyes and think really really hard. If if there's no sun to see when what date is, I can't tell what date is. There's no sun, but you can't or keep in track of the hours, or at least your boss is of how much time has passed. Uh, good, right. good joy. Good joy. All right. So in the meantime, Vazak's not going to do too good as we go to the restaurant. Maybe they got like potions or scrolls or something there. You know, so, reading material. Well, I can do remove curse. I just need to spend eight hours to remember it. Right? Yeah. To prep it. All right. All right. Well, maybe we just need to stop at the uh, <clears throat> at the at the Chucky's up ahead. The Chucky. That, that, that's even assuming that doesn't want to be cured or want. Well, to be we cured. just need to stop at the Chucky's. Maybe you can throw up and you'll feel better. Thunder. Or maybe maybe we'll just find shit or something that's true to too. get there. Yeah. So, I've been wanting. Like I've been wanting one to try one of their tasty beverages, anyways. <sighs> right then. All right. So as you're rolling wrong in your new vehicles, new vehicle you just acquired, moving along, enjoying yourselves, just having a nice stroll to the rest of the way, you suddenly see, uh, hear a loot in the background going. Gosh, dog it. Oh, again? It's not, it's not a, it's not dueling loots, is it? <laughs> is it dueling loots? Oh, no. Oh, God. 
like we're going. Oh shit! Oh god, that is a lot of vehicles. That is a lot of vehicles. Told you I was gonna top you, Aaron. That is a lot of shit. All Anyways, right. did Rit get a chance to heal uh, Thunder Punch? Actually, not. I wouldn't say you got a long rest because no, no. I'm I'm saying just restore some hit point, lost hit points. Yeah, hit points. Yeah, if he spends the spell slots for. It, but but these uh, are the rest, yeah. three different war bands of warlords coming to after you. One is a horn devil. The other is a chain devil. And a human necromancer. Mm. With a on her one of her vehicles is a skeleton playing a lute. <laughs> that shoots out a flame thrower at the end of the uh head. God damn what a day. <laughs> Alright, well uh this is going to be interesting. Ah. Alright. So um how many how how long do we have between the battles? Uh, not long. So you either have the choice of trying to run away, or you can stay and fight. I think we should fight. <laughs> oh, wow. Let's do it. Come on, guys. Yeah. This is the type of I'm, this I'm, is the type I'm of ready. I've been looking for. I'm Let's ready. Let's do this shit. Let's do this shit. I, I have the car ready, and I I look as long as a... as long as Vazek, how you doing? Like, does Vazek need to spend some hit dice for like a? Short rest, or does he need some healing or something? I will, I will on a ride, on a ride, uh, as we ride, I will have. Uh oh, I lost his. I'll hand him uh, 10 good berries. I will cast good berry. Oh, okay. Uh, Vazek? Oh, it looks like, uh, Rit gave him cure wounds. Oh, well. Uh, between both, though, that will pretty much drop me off. You get basically 10 healing, or 10 hit points from the good berries. All right, all right. And uh, as we are driving, as they start coming, and I, I will turn to Vazek and I will ask, um, do you have a way of getting off this thing without dying? Uh, perhaps in a way that uh, that uh, makes sure you are safe. Uh, not while we're moving. Hmm. Then I suggest you get onto the other car, because I have a plan. I'll get out of this one. And... Jump from uh, the roof. Can you do that? Jump off the roof? Well, he jump wants to jump one to the other. Yeah. So I'm on the face this car. Uh, roll me a acrobatics check or ath no athletics with. All right, I'll do it. You land in the car and you guys hear this loud thunk. And you see a body print of what appears to be Vazic on the top of the metal above y'all. I sure hope that buffs out. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have another quick question. So which I don't, which I don't think I've fully paid this car off yet. <laughs> Which uh, which car is which, or like who is in which car? Okay, so the uh, the chain devil, I believe, is over here. The Where? Devil's over here. Well, wait, I'm uh, I'm not seeing any of your. Yeah, I think you're in GM mode. Oh, sorry. It's all good. So chain devil right here. Horn devil right here. Necromancer right here. Okay. All right. I, I've got eyes on the necromancer. Uh, I'll probably go for the horn devil. And uh, I will I will shout Every, out. Everybody to, else go for the chain devil. I scream yeah. out. The necromancer's mine. Yeah. I will uh, I will shout out to them and say I have a terrible plan, and I'll start veering off. The rest of the group. <laughs> And I basically want to move the car where it is in front of the head, or like it's over like here.
And are we in turn order, or can I do something again? Because uh, if if I can do something, if we're not in combat yet, then I'll do something. You know, I'm curious, so I'm gonna allow it. Okay, let's see. What do I? Have? He wants to see how you're gonna royally fuck this up. All right, I will. Um, <laughs> let's see. I will take out uh my shovel and my iron pot from my pack, uh, as weight. Shovel in an iron pot. Yep. And uh, I'm, I will I'm, kinda... I'm starting to. Shades is seeing this, and he's starting to question his hiring decisions. Yep. And uh, I will. Um. Uh, they're going fast, right? They're they're trying they're, to catch up to us. Yeah, they're going really fast. All right. I will slow down a bit, but uh, I'll. Oh, actually, no. Never mind. I'll stay at course. I'll stay at speed. And I'll actually speed up. And uh, as soon as they like start getting closer, like within like. 40, 60 feet or something. I will uh, stand up from the thing, like keeping my uh, little talon on um, on the drive. I will have the uh, pot and the shovel like in each other, uh, holding it above the brake. And uh, I'll wait, and I'll wait, and then I'll push the pot and the shovel onto the brake, put my talon off the... Uh, off the uh, acceleration, and then I'll fly out of the vehicle. <laughs> so you're basically going to have the vehicle become a giant battling ram. Basically. Those vehicles are expensive. Look how many we're going to have. Oh, and by I will... the way, uh, I forgot to mention, uh, Shades, you found three soul, more soul coins on the... Um... Yeah, cool. Okay, I'll add that to my, uh, I'll add that to my character sheet. I think this is going to work. So yeah, I will do that, and I will fly like directly, uh, directly towards the uh, the rest of the group, as it, as it's. I'm assuming they crash into the big machine. They crash into the big machine, and uh, and this one just kind of just wrecks it out of the way, and then they stop to look at their boss and see if he's okay. He's like. Get him, you fools! <laughs> Perfect. Now this is what I like to see. Now a re in initiative. Now we're in initiative. Uh, we'll start off with Rit. Uh, Rit, what do you want to do? Um, um, so, so this doom buggy, it's 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 like covered or something, right? Or is it just open air? It's covered. So um, I'm going to duck inside the doom buggy, uh -huh. and I'm going to do uh, this. Did, did we roll initiative again, or is this just the same initiative from before we're just rocking with? The old initiative, yeah. Okay, just making sure. It's been an hour since our last fight. Where's my token? Okay. Did I even touch my token? I don't know. Did you? Oh, that's why. Can I put a radius on my token somehow? Uh, go over to the token and double click it, and then you'll see at the bottom or one and or two. I think that went well. <laughs> uh, that's my turn. So um, I exclude all of my companions and my vehicle. Mm -hmm. and, it's and oh. um, around me now you see um, uh, mini reapers. Yeah, like mini reapers. So yeah, it's flying around me. A little cobalt uh, reapers. Uh, yeah, little cobalt reapers, and they grow devil horns and devil bone tails. Yeah, flying around the vehicle. So the vehicle is surrounded in devil re reapers. Nice. If that isn't metal, I don't know what is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now it's a little turn, and it's like she's just gonna look at this and go. Uh, you sure you guys don't want to run? 
Nope. It's time for a party. Ram, ram the ram the horn ram the chain devil. <laughs> this is what you'd like to see. The DM's giving us a like a, a, an out here. He's like, uh, you're all going to die, man. <laughs> so we're like, yep, yep. All right, so I'm going to use two sorcery points. To throw out a darkness on the necromancer. Oh. <laughs> you can, you can, you can. Can you put that on a on a on an option? You can, right? Yeah. Or is that stationary? From a point to fill a fifteen foot radius sphere. So basically, it's gonna be around the fucking necromancer vehicle. Choose an object you're holding that is being worn and carried. Yeah, I'm centering it on the on the necromancer's vehicle. Yeah. Ve- vehicle. Right. So there's <laughs> so there's now a fifteen foot radius darkness surrounding <laughs> surrounding the necromancer's vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> I can still see the motherfucker, but he can't see me. Uh, well, he whatever. might be able to. He's a necromancer. Let me make a handling check with disadvantage. Yeah, it kind of swerves and uh, hits one. Of the, uh, call it odds or evens. Uh, I'll call evens. Uh, it's it's going to slam into this vehicle. But we can't see that because he's in dark. <laughs> I can see it. I can perfectly see it. Oh, you can see uh-huh. that's right. I can perfectly see it. <laughs> All right, Basic, it is. Hold on. Turn. Wait, let me make sure I don't have any bonus actions. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, I do have a bonus action. How many? How many? How many sorcery points do I have left? Oh, I've got a lot of sorcery points left. Um, I'll hold off then. So let me go ahead as my bonus action. Let me go ahead and cast another dragon's breath on Maltese. Can you cast Dragon's Breath after casting Darkness? Actually, you're right. I cannot. You're right. I cannot. So, do I want to throw out my Hound of Ill Omen? (laughs) Onto the Dragon's Breath. I mean, on the on. Yeah, but I can throw out my Hound of Ill Omen. Do it. I mean, this is a this looks like a pretty serious fight we're about to be in. Yeah. Um. Uh All right, let me let me throw it onto the chat just so that we're all on the same page here. Cuz I want to throw that hound of hill omen. Is the necromancer driving inside? Uh she's just riding, but inside the vehicle? Yeah. Um. Can I summon my hound to be inside the vehicle right next to her? I'll allow it. All right. So that's where the hound's going to appear. Inside the vehicle. Next to her. So that's three sorcery points that I'm burning. For my hound. Who. A good little boy. Is now inside cargo. inside his uh, he's now inside the uh, the vehicle with the necromancer. <laughs> so normally when you uh, some of the uh, hound of Milam, it has a shadowy appearance, but because you're in Vernus, it takes on this burning devilish 
houndish appearance. Sure, but there's darkness, so nobody can see that anyways, except for, <laughs> except for me. <laughs> True. <laughs> and uh, the hound uses direwolf statistics. Appears with the number of temporary hit points equal to my sorcerer level. Uh, at the start of his turn, and it can attack. It cannot use its action only to attack its target. So, do I want to? Do you want me to roll an initiative for the hound? I say they're just temporary out of the fight for now. Who? So, uh, the necromancer. But he's oh no. Have... No, my hound's gonna fuck him up. Her up? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, that came out horrible. <laughs> my hound is planning to chomp on this. The, is, he's got a captive audience. Right? They're inside a vehicle, trapped. You don't understand. I'm not trapped with you. You're trapped in here with me. <laughs> the do- the, do- the hound doggo is of just Ill- like Scooby Doo. <laughs> hound of Ill Omen. And. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like a, a fucking demonic Scooby Doo, and he's about to fucking tear some shit up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the hound. Let me look up the hound stats. Do you, that's why I'm asking. Do you want me to do a hound initiative, or is he just gonna go on my initiative? No, let's just have him go on your initiative to save time. All right, so the hound of Lin Omen has. A bite plus five to hit. Let me just roll. So that's a twelve to hit the necromancer who um he oh he has advantage because the ne- unless the necromancer can see in magical darkness that I've cast. Uh go ahead and reroll. Alright, the advantage roll, I mean. Well, that didn't help. Okay, well, it hits anyways, because 12 hits. Okay, so that is 2d6. Plus 3 piercing. So 10 points of piercing damage. And I don't know that it matters, but it's a DC 13 saving throw, strength saving throw, be knocked prone. (laughs) It probably doesn't matter at this point, but especially if they're seated in the car, who knows? Uh, 12 damage, you said? 10, 10 damage. She is very much still up. Sure. She doesn't know who the fuck's jumping on him, though. Bork, 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 bork. Work, 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 work. Does not look happy. And, uh, now it's Fadzik's turn. I'm guessing this is too far a jump to get to this one. Uh, what do we say? Multiply it by two? Yeah, so it's over 20 feet. About 30 feet. Yeah, I'm just going to go to Splat if I try and jump that. Uh, I'll just... Uh, I'll rage and I'll hook a couple of javelins. Alright. At this one. Go ahead. Okay, 20. Oh, I get the crit when I'm not using those great sword of sharpness. <laughs> That's a big oof, man. Oh, I don't think I get rage. Yeah, you don't get double rage damage. Get double the dice. Yeah, but I don't think I get rage on a ranged attack anyway. I think yeah. it's only on melee. Only on melee. Hmm. So... 12 wow. damage altogether. 12 damage. Oh, jeez.
Uh, he's very much still up, and he does not look happy. <laughs> now it's... Their turn. Their turn, and they're going to bring the machines up very fast. Uh, Machines and they're going to drop a claw to the binge. Uh, yeah, it just rips open. This one rips open uh, the part that uh, Basic landed on. So um, all all those machines entering the area are going to have to do a uh, uh, wisdom saving throw <laughs> against okay. Tiny Ritz. Wisdom saving throws. Uh, I think their crew has to make the wisdom saving throw. That's a good question. Are the machines um, alive or not? I don't think so. Uh, no, they're not. Because technically they're sold, right? They're, they're run by souls or something? Oh, they're hobgoblins. It's run by hobgoblins. Uh, No, but the machines themselves, aren't they like souls or something? Aren't no, they, they, actually... burn, they, burn, they, they use burn souls, souls as fuel. Yeah. So I don't think they in themselves are fuel. It's the machines that are... They, uh, power. Failed. The crew's failed. Yeah, he's, he's asking if he can cause them to run out of gas, basically. Uh, <laughs> because no. they, get, they get slowed for entering the, the area, right? No, the soul's already burned. It's already in the fuel. <laughs> Um, so they will take um, 17 necrotic, unreducible necrotic damage. Simply irresistible. A lot of the crew's uh, men die in this machine. It stops moving. <laughs> uh, feels good. But this one's still moving, and it moves its claw. And claw. What's that? Rip, make me a deck saving throw. Uh, why am I doing a deck saving throw? You're about to find out. Oh, because of the claw. It's claw! Kind of I am inside the vehicle, so... Did you hear what I said? They ripped open the... The top? The top. Oh, mm. okay. Uh... At least the ding's out. <laughs> there it's you go. convertible. Hey! I knew I should not Dude. have gone for the rag top. Ooh. Next time, hard top option. Node to sell. <laughs> oh, we can make like a gigantic. Oh god! If only we had like an artificer in the group. Uh, Rid, <laughs> is your uh, spiritual guardian a concentration? I uh, guess this. Do I uh, take any damage? Uh, you're being grabbed up and pulled up. Yes. I would argue that would affect your concentration. Okay. How would that affect my concentration? Because usually it's based on how much damage I take. Because, well, let's see how much damage this thing does. I'm just trying to figure out how I calculate that. You're grappled. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't deal any. Well, mm -hmm. the only thing, it, if he, if he's incapacitated, if the restraint condition gives him incapacitated, it affects concentration. Yes. Let's take a look the at restraint. Concentration. Well, it, it gives you the restraint condition, so. Nope, he's not incapacitated. All right. So it means he should be able to still concentrate. That that means that that as the claw is pulling him towards them, so are the yes. evil writ spirits are getting pulled along <laughs> with him. Yes. Where, which one's drawing me here? This one? Which, uh, yeah, we'll argue that one. 
this vehicle is moving forward to you guys, and then you see a horn devil. Wait, the horn devil was over here. Chain devil's down there. Oh, chain devil. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and he makes a multi attack with his fork. As he's moving forward and tries to attack uh, Vasic, it's going to be a... Oh, Jesus! Oh, is everything good? Plus 10 modifier. Yeah. That's fine. This is fine. This is <laughs> fine. <laughs> Are you raging? Yes. All right, then you take uh, half of 15 damage. Uh, so round up to eight. Yeah, so eight. And a second attack with its uh, fork. That misses. All right. Is that everyone? Actually, no, it would be there... seven. It's all, you always round down, right? Yeah. Always round down unless specified otherwise. So, uh, uh, one final action. This machine's going to start moving away slightly with the rest of it. Oh, shit, Ritz. <laughs> One final thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, another final thing. Ray, you start to hear a voice in your head. A voice in my head? Is, is, no. is it Kellen Board? No, I am not Kellen Board. Oh, okay. But if you get out of my head. Are you sure you don't want my help in this predicament? Help? What do I need help for? I'm about to kill all these guys. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Have it your way. <laughs> but I think it would have been useful if you would be able to summon the undead down here. But I'm not one to judge. It leads to you. Right. Turn well, hmm, this is a bit of a problem. Let us see here. What do we have? What do we have? Um, hmm, so we have a horn devil, we have Ritz being currently taken away, and then we have like a two ton pile up over there. Hmm. Boss, should I save Ritz? Or should I kill this bastard? Go get Ritz. Alright. And who's currently controlling this thing? A uh, hobgoblin warlord. Okay. I will fly. Each square is 20 feet, right? Uh, right. Okay. So that gets me there. And I will. Oh, oh wait, how far? What's my range? I believe I could shoot him, but I can't hunt his mark. Yeah, I have a range of 150. So uh, I will aim at the uh, Mr. Hopgoblin. The uh, yeah, I'll aim at the Hopgoblin. Take two shots. First one, second one. Do they both it? Those rolls, I argue, you manage to see some slits within the windows and stuff, and shoot oh. arrows through. Okay. Then uh, will they hit them? Yeah, I argued they would hit because that's oh. pretty high rolls. Okay. Uh, first one, second one. So 24 damage on the Hobgoblin. Uh, the Hobgoblin, uh, actually, yeah, the Hobgoblin uh, driving the thing. And uh, that is all I can do. I can shoot. And that is, yes, my turn. Mm, what to do? What to do? It is. They got 
Hog Goblin Captain's still up. Okay. Brit is your turn. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Uh, the hobgoblin captain driving the uh, the vehicle needs to do a Constitution save DC thirteen. Constitution. All right. Uh, let's see. Constitution. Oh, I get to plus three. Okay, so he takes 11 necrotic damage. Um, so I guess I can't use it right now anyways. But one, one question I had was um, spiritual weapon. Um, with that, like the vehicles are moving, right? Yeah, the vehicles are moving. So would the spiritual weapon move at the same speed as the vehicles, or would it be stationary and fall behind everyone? Uh, to be our, to be honest, I, it wouldn't fall away from you. It goes wherever you place it. Mm -hmm. So if you place it in one spot and you're moving away, it's just you're moving away from it, your spiritual weapon. Yeah, it's it's kind of like the, the 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 question is like if you're on a train and you cast a spiritual weapon, or if you're on a train and you use an immo immovable rod, what would happen? <laughs> but yeah, I I understand. So is that your turn or? Um, I think that's all I can do at the moment. Uh, there's there's no one else like there's nothing near me or anything. No one near me or anything, right? Uh, no, no one but the... I'm just, like, the... dangling from a hook or something? Yeah, you're <laughs> dangling from a hook. Okay. Yeah, I think that's about all I can do right now. Um, the... Yeah. <laughs> Liz, like, uh, trying to ram the, uh, sideswipe these, uh, the horn Devil on the bike. Horn Devil manages to dodge out of the way. So it's your turn, Shades. All right. Well, you got any big guns? Oh yeah. Good. All right, I'm going to throw out a cone of cold. Mm -hmm. So let me just draw it. It's, it's a 60 foot cone. <sighs> so it's going to go to, what is that? About right there. Mm -hmm. And then it'll go. About right there. Uh, what level is uh? This level. Let's see. Constitution save. Um Okay. So okay. Uh, hold on a second. And the lich will have disadvantage on that constitution save. Or not the uh, lich, no. the necromancer. She counter spells. Alright, well she has to be the DC 
She has to beat uh, the DC then. She did. 17. Oh, damn. Who's counter spelling? Uh, the lady? The, the, necro the, the necromancer. The necromancer, yeah. The necromancer in darkness. In darkness. It's oh, see him casting the spell. I don't see. Oh, she does have to see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Almost all spells require sight. Unfortunately. All right. Is that gonna be your go? Um, but a lot of her skeletons and stuff are dead. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I mean, she—it's gonna be very difficult for her to drive. Um. Or so. Like, oh yeah, yeah, you're found. Yeah. So my hound gets to attack. His stats are oh shit. I can't believe. They're dire wolf. What is the what was the stats one? Again? It's a dire wolf. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a uh, plus five to hit. One d twenty plus five. So twenty three to hit for. Eleven points of bite damage to the necromancer. Nom. Actually, no. I gotta roll that with advantage just in case he crits, right? Well, why? Why with advantage? Because she won. can't see him. Oh. <laughs> All right, that didn't matter either way. So eleven points of biting damage from my He's hound delayed. development. Yeah. All right. I'll cast her first. It's a good thing that yeah. So, so did that horn devil take any damage that's right in front of us from that cone of cold? Oh yeah, I suppose he would. Uh, let's do it. I mean, day. basically, that cone would have hit everybody. Everybody in in this vehicle, everybody that got wrecked in this vehicle, the necromancer's vehicle, as well as maybe one or two people in this vehicle, and the horn devil. <sighs> Yeah, he takes the full damage. Might have resistance because it's cold, but hey. It's better than no damage. Better than, yeah, so you still got 35 halved, worst case. I'm running out of arrows. <laughs> Pick some off of the shop when you make your stop. Don't believe I. I think I'm going to run out of arrows before then. <laughs> <laughs> I only have five left. How many arrows? Uh, I, I I I got these rocks. Do they count? Okay. No. You're trapped on a claw machine. You can't give them anything. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Even fly, if you wanted to, fly, I, I don't you, believe we're... you have to fly over him for him to touch you to give you healing what, more. What, whatever you say, Kellenbor. <laughs> <sighs> Every, All right. every time so that we, was so that was my go. DM, tell Rich something. I'm going to call DM Tone War. I don't. I don't think I. Uh, I don't think I have any bonus actions I can take uh, right. that don't involve me casting a spell. So Vasek, it is your turn. Uh, I'm going to move around to get a better position against this horn devil or chain devil. This was horn. Horn devil. And I'll pull out the great sword and I'm gonna reckless attack twice. Alright. Sixteen or twenty three. Sixteen and twenty three. Sixteen will miss, twenty three will hit. Fourteen damage on the hit. Twenty three. And that's my goal. Mm. 
It's their turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everyone in my vehicle needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Well, wait. Can't you decide who? Can't you decide not to affect people? Uh, are you oh, are you? Oh, right. oh, right. Oh, no. We're not right, in his right. vehicle. <laughs> right, I forgot. My brain went. went. Are you in that vehicle? Uh, nope, not yet. I think I'm good. <laughs> Michael? Yeah, Michael. Just uh, a map real quick. Okay. Yeah, there, there's still good. Uh, so the uh, they they take nine the or nine. It's gonna start crushing you slowly. Okay. I make a. I guess it would be a Constitution check because you're already grappled. Constitution. So this would be something of endurance. Three, not very good. Draw a D8. Two damage. Two damage. And I need to make another constitution save. You're good. Okay. And then you hear a voice in your head. Are you sure? I'm going to kill did. them all. <laughs> <laughs> They, they, everyone, everyone in this vehicle just took nine more points of damage. <laughs> oh, by the way, your friends are getting further, further away. Okay. Once I take this vehicle over... Wait, I, I was... <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's flying, so he's not getting further away. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, I might need to do... You there, Michael? Yeah. I might need to do a con save for my dire wolf or my oh, hound to yeah, see if he took cold damage. So let's roll d1d20 plus two. How many hit points does the little guy have? Okay, so he failed, so he's taking 35 points of cold damage. Is he out? Nope. Hey! What's 44 right. minus 35? Right. Nine? So he's got nine. There we go. He's good. There you go. Little guy's doing it. And then the... Let's see. What can Necromancer do? Oh, yeah. Okay. So the Necromancer does something. Everything around you starts moving very slow. Counter spell. <laughs> it's a ninth level. Come on, you got this. Uh, roll that not... counter spell. Alright, so what do I gotta roll? Nineteen or higher, because it's a ninth level spell. Based off of uh, yeah, isn't she still blind? No, that's that's a time stop spell. I'm assuming. Yeah, it's verbal. She doesn't need to see a location. It's like it's like a self buff. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's a DC nineteen. Herb check. Plus. Uh, what's my charisma? Come on, you got this, you got this, you got this. Okay, so this is, uh, what was the spell she's casting? Time stop. Time stop. Bitch is a high level caster? Damn. Yeah. Oh, not good enough. Not good enough. Well, she can't hurt us while in time stop. But she can do a bunch of other shit while on time stop. As long as it doesn't affect her surroundings. How many rounds does she get? Uh, let's see. Four or five? Uh, for 1d4 plus, plus one. Plus one. Mm -hmm. 
She gonna like drink healing potions and shit, probably. Four rounds. <laughs> Four rounds. All right. What you gonna do with those four rounds? You got a dog biscuit? <laughs> Toss it out the window. Hope that my hound follows it. Which he won't because he's got a taste for blood. Ugh. That's a high level necromancer. Yeah. She might have some goodies on her. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we're taking it. We're taking everything. Maybe we maybe we make this like a. Oh, why should we make this? Like once again, if we had an artifact, we just like attach all the the cards together, and have them just and sell them and go back to the uh, mad, mad Miss Mad Card Dealership, and uh, oh, just that sell would be them. Awesome. No, we could use the ones with the claws, where the claws are basically attaching. Oh to yeah, the, to the other vehicles. If only, if only any of us know how, knew how to do that. <laughs> we'll have a whole train of vehicles, right? We'd have a train, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm imagining uh, Michael just face palming right now. <laughs> I'm not face palming, but it's like I do think that's a neat idea, though. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's if we this survive is gonna this. Be just like Bobby Yaga's hut again, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Bobby. Oh, excuse me. Your turn, Robert. Oh, it's my turn. Oh, I didn't hear. All right. Well, I'll fly um fifty feet closer towards Ritz. And uh, take two more shots at the bastard. Alright. One, two. Oh, not with advantage, but that's a 19. So, boop. 15, 29 damage to the guy driving. And do I have anything I could do as a bonus action? You know what, fuck it. I will use my bonus action to cast his effort strike. Oh, it's not damage, but uh, until the spell ends, my movement doesn't provoke attacks of opportunities, and once before the spell ends, you can give yourself advantage on one weapon attack roll on that turn. And it deals an extra 1d8 force damage on a hit. And then my... And my damage. Well, no, it, not now. Currently, I'm concentrating on it. I'm currently like the wind at the moment. There's no wind in hell. Ne so next time... Next time, cast that first, then you'd have advantage yeah. on that 31 longbow. Oh, next time, next time, next time. I'll get next you time. Start, you should start battles with Zephyr Strike. <laughs> does does that get away your Hunter's Mark? Yeah, that gets away, away my Hunter's Mark. That's why I usually Hunter's Mark. But I wasn't within range to do it yet, so. Mm -hmm. so I'm All right, gonna... Red, it's your turn. What do you want to do? Okay, I'm going to um climb out of uh the grappy grappy thingy you're restrained you can yes grappled and restrained yes grappled and restrained i can escape it's an option unless you're saying it's not no longer an option mm. it's think escape via grapple a grapple creature can use his action to escape well you you're can... You're also uh, restrained. Very extra athletics. Oh, restrained? Is that even worse? Restrained it's worse than grappled. It's both. It, you're grappled and restrained. So your move is zero. And you're restrained. Restrained. What does restrained do? Uh, it's pretty bad. Uh, it's not as bad as paralyzed, but it's like a step down from paralyzed. You, you can't escape from restrained? Restrained. Yeah, it doesn't say you can't escape. You just have a disadvantage on deck saves. Yeah, uh, it doesn't say you can't. It's just advantage. it's depending on what the hell he's in. So can he escape? Uh, I would argue no, because this is like this is a device specifically built to capture people. So 
Oh god. Can he grovel? Grovel, cower, beg. He can grovel in the machine. I'll argue that because he can sound whimpering, going, "Oh, please be kind to me, Mister." Yeah, but I don't think that really helps me in any way right now. Mm. Helps me. It only gives, it only gives advantage to uh, my allies. Um, but I think you have to be close to him. I think, right? At the end of your turn, your allies gain advantage on attack rolls against enemies within 10 feet of you. That yeah, I don't you. think that's going to help. Yeah, right. Got any other spells? Oh, yeah, I got tons of spells. Just, I, I wanted to get out of his grapple, but if I can't do that, I'll just spell him to death. All right. Um, if getting out of the grapple is not an option. Feel that. Feel that. If you could kill the driver. Um, that's concentration. Do I want to risk that? That's kind of dangerous. It's a dangerous uh, game we play. Since I'm restrained, I have disadvantage on my attack, so I'm best not to use any attacks, which is great because I have lots of spells that are not attack spells. Um, that's a spell attack. Yeah, I think I will just, um, I will toll the dead him, I guess. Told the, the, yeah, the driver? For 15 necrotic damage. Ah. He's still taking necrotic damage every turn as long as he stays within my bubble. <laughs> All right. Which is how much? Um, 3d, 3d8. Do you roll that or is that already? I fixed? rolled that on his turn. I rolled that on his, on his turn, not mine. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Oh, yeah, I have a staff. Hey, can I use a staff? Probably not. I mean, I don't see why you couldn't. Okay. So is it Lulu's turn now? Yeah, it's Lulu's turn. And Lou's gonna try to sideswipe the uh, biker again. Still find it funny that Lulu's driving us. It's a little fucking elephant. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> I'm not drunk, you're drunk, Lulu says. <laughs> I drive better when I'm drunk. <laughs> he fails his deck save, and uh, <laughs> since this guy has no wings, he gets road rash. Gets a road rash. As he skids uh, on the ground while his bike is crushed and get You guys are able to get away from that. This guy's just trapped over here. Who's drunk? I mean, I'm not. <laughs> pink, pink. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. Uh, uh, you got turn, and now it's 50s. All right. Uh, time cool. to continue fucking up that, uh, that necromancer. That necromancer. Because that's bad business right there. That bad business. That is bad business. Bad, bad business. Uh, bad. Let's see. So let's just make sure. So I I think I forgot to take off five charges of my staff from last time. So let me knock that off. All right. So now 
Let me uh not the explosion? You know what I'm gonna I'm I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking what's a twenty foot radius look like? Twenty foot radius looks like an explosion. Yeah, I even get some on this on this uh vehicle right here, right? Think so. All right. So, where was that centered? Right there. Right. Fireball. At, <laughs> at level X five. Save. X save, right? It is a DC sixteen deck save. Now, uh, Necromancer is going to have disadvantage. Remember, you're in hell. Fire is probably going to do like half damage to everything. Sure, but, uh, there's a, but the Necromancer, though. Necromancer might not be resistant. Right. Uh, she fails. So if she fails, she takes the full 34 points. What is it? Not 34. What is that? 20, 24 plus 7 is 31 points of fire damage. Let me take off another five points from my staff. Um, but also whoever's in, whoever's in this vehicle, whoever's in this vehicle, and whoever's in this vehicle are also affected, right? Yeah, that vehicle is empty. It's already dead. Okay. All right, well, whoever is in this vehicle and this vehicle are affected <laughs> as well. Um, and let me roll for my hound because technically this might hurt my hound. This might do my hound in, actually. Nope. Actually, it probably does. I probably don't even need to roll. Pupper. Because puppy's down now because he only had nine hit points left so even if he saves uh half of 31 is gonna take him down so hound goes away all right there goes poor puppers there goes hound but he helped he helped her he helped her uh on her well can i get a bite in first from the hound <laughs> before he goes uh, down since he's on my initiative anyway i would say he goes that he's so far gone at the end of your turn so okay that's fine Either way, he helped. He did. He did what is he was supposed to do. And there's still darkness on the on the uh, necromancer. So All right. that's my yes. go. Is Vadek's turn? All right. And devil here is like on the floor and rolling around behind us, right? Right. There's nothing else really in range. Vazex just kind of shout to Lulu, get us up to the one we've written and point it out. And then I guess I'll hop in the back seat, see if anyone's in range with the uh, harpoons. All right. Uh, you see written range with the harpoons. Is the machine, can I hit the machine and not write? Uh, pretty, he's pretty high up. It's a huge machine. All right. I'll take a shot at the machine then. All right. Uh, uh, fire away. What was it? 1d20 plus? Uh, 1, 2, two I'm looking at for it right now. It's 1d20 plus 7. Boom. Oh, so are you aiming for the creature holding Rit? 
Uh, I'm guessing I can't see the driver. Oh, he's in the machine, but he'll go into the machine. Oh, yeah. Aiming to hit crew. Like, I don't really want to damage the machine too much. All right. Yeah, he's aiming for the driver. So he, as you hit the driver, how do you do this? Straight through the chest and out the front of the machine. So as he gets hit in the chest and so forth, he's no longer holding the lever that's holding up Rit. And it robs. Rit, you'll be fine. We'll be fine. He's it's better than him being dragged away. <laughs> uh, I mean, how much damage is two hundred feet? Two hundred feet. What? Wait, hold on. <laughs> I have a you, I have a big you, problem with that. I have a huge problem with that. Two hundred feet. Fine? There's no way he's two hundred feet in the air. It's a fast machine. Let's see. There's oh, no he's way. Talking, he's, he's not talking. He's not talking about the. I'm talking about it's the draw. The speed. It's the road rash. The road rash, yeah. The drop, the road rash, everything. Okay. All right. Roll me six. Yeah, I'm going to roll 66 for this. Do, do, do. Are you okay, Rit? Yeah, yeah. Twenty points. Your voice in my you hear a voice in your head, it's like you should have asked for him. Um well, that's easy. Um constitution. Oh no, that isn't easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I love roll twenty. Better than you were getting captured. Oh yeah. I just Wish my spell was still running. If I have extra attack, does that mean I can fire the, fire the harpoon again? Yeah, you can fire at the guy on the ground if you want to. Cool. Rit? No. No, yeah. no the devil. devil. Ah, that makes more sense. I, I'd be surprised if you just had, had just a, a change of heart. <laughs> I can't see him like this. I need to put him out of his misery. Oh, that's pretty good. I'll hit. Uh, what's the damage on these things? Uh, they are... Let me look. Let's see. The damage is 2d8 plus 2. Oh, what the mm. heck? Dang. Oh, horrible damage. Yeah, god, god dang. Oh, well, that's everything I can do. Mm -hmm. Now it's his turn. He gets back on the bike and starts hauling and throws a soul coin into the machine and starts hauling all the way up at you, your machine, and tries to poke inside the machine. And let's see, it'll be attacked with disadvantage. On me or on Vazak? Probably you. Okay. Oh, jeez. I don't see how he can fill this. But anything's possible, I suppose. Manage. What? Let's try it again. Here we go. 13, 26, 13 misses. 28 will hit. Well, it's his disadvantage. 
Oh, yeah, 13 misses. 23 will hit. All right, you take 15 damage. Okay. And the Necromancer. Oh, where's what's this? What's she gonna do? What's she, what's she gonna do? She still she can't see. Teleport, right? She she, she has to. She can teleport. Where's she gonna teleport to? Uh, I say right over here. Don't she have to see where she's teleporting to? No. No. No, she doesn't. She just has to know the location. And remember, you're still in time slow. Wait, whoa. Wait, what? wait, wait, no, wait, wait. No, that's you, the time you, slow you is can... where she can do things yeah. to buff herself. She can do four actions worth of buffs. Buffs and base like and stuff that's that... it. Oh, time stop is what I meant from earlier. That's yeah. time stop. Yeah. Time stop is the spell okay. During which you can use actions and move as normal. The spell ends if one of the action you use during that period or an effect that you create during this period. After a credit. Okay, okay. Then she just teleports over there. There we go. So nobody's driving that car? No, they're all dead. And what about the other car that was she wrecked into? That thing's destroyed. And this car that we that he ran that uh that uh predator rammed? Was there anybody left alive in that one? Uh, for, uh, I would argue they, your Kona Cold and Fireball did kill the rest of them. Okay, so just this guy right here is left vehicle-wise, besides the one that Ritz on. Yeah. And the devil. Any vehicle. Yeah, the devil. All right, so Necromancer's tokens on the board. Uh, yeah, let's find the Necromancer. Uh, that'll work. There we go. And that's her turn. It's your turn. <laughs> Well, the boss. Well, the boss said uh, he wanted uh, the necromancer to uh, to himself. So, I guess I'm going to deal with the devil, and I will move over to the devil or fly near the devil, and uh, I will use my bonus action to uh, slayers prey him, mm -hmm. and then um, I will uh, take a shot and I will activate my uh, use of Zephyr Strike. So it is with advantage. So it's pretty favorite enemy. Hang on, this is the strike. Uh, and the eight, fifteen. Uh, all right, it is a fiend, yes. Yes. All right. With my last arrow, I shoot at him. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> That's what you like to see. That is nineteen or twenty nine. Fifth, wait, no, forty one damage. And then, oh god, well this, this is gonna kind of suck. I will, uh, I will, uh, like, uh, hook off my, uh, hook off my, uh, like, uh, bow and arrow, and I will draw a short sword. And I will charge at the devil with my bonus speed from Zephyr Strike, and I will slash uh, how at him. Much, how much damage was from the uh, strike? Just oh, how much damage was my first strike? Yeah, was it uh, just twenty, or was it the total? It's a total. It's a total of forty-one, all magical. Oh, forty-one. Mm -hmm. Did that include your Zephyr Strike? From that include the Zephyr. That include the Zephyr Strike. It's a D. It's two D eight because of the crit, and then it was two D six from the Slayer's Prey. Okay, uh, 
and just his regular short sword, right? Yep. Uh, it's not magical, so. All right, hang on. I actually, I, I never thought I'd use this thing, so I didn't even write a macro for it. All right. All right. Yeah, twenty. For 12 non magical piercing. Oh, yeah, 12 non magical piercing. Alright. And uh, that is my turn. Great, you're on the ground. Um, Where's his token at? So, so, how fast these vehicles moving? Well, this vehicle stopped. There's no one driving it anymore or holding you up, so. Uh, you just said it was moving like 200 feet per second or something like that, so. Well, this one was, but these guys are moving in their own lock, and you're all the way behind. <laughs> so the the vehicle I fell from, is it still moving or is it stopped? Stopped, but it, it rolled forward as it stopped. So how far away is it? Not far. Like not far as in. 30 as in, he can climb in and 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 start driving. Thirty miles. Does he have a soul coin? So he just killed a bunch of. He just killed a bunch of people inside the vehicle. Yeah, the hobgoblin. Yeah. Hobgoblin was in the cockpit. So there should be there should yeah. be a fresh old soul. There coin should right be there a whole bunch him. of soul coins in that vehicle. <laughs> plus, plus, are are all these vehicles almost out of gas? Are they running on fumes right now? Uh, Yes, it was running on a soul, but so it probably still has some gas left in it, right? Right. Worst case, he's got a coin from that hobgoblin. Yeah, and probably anyone else who died with my uh, my spiritual uh, or my 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 death guys for spirit, spirit guardians or whatever. Yeah, my death guardians. <laughs> I think I should rename that spell the death guardians. <laughs> So yeah, check out the vehicles. Is there anyone on? Anyone left alive? Hello? Uh, nope. Then I get in and I start driving it. Run that bitch down. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Do I need to make a check? Animal handling or something? I guess you can drive it pretty well, but it's pretty hard to reach the pedals at times. <laughs> Well, of course, I I, I I I can't even sit in the seat, right? I have my feet on the pedals. Is he is he got like, mage hand or mage foot, or whatever it might be? He's like that kid from Temple of Doom, where he has blocks on his feet. Yeah, I got blocks on my feet. <laughs> so, do I need to make a check to drive the vehicle or anything, or just uh, rather uh, drive? Give me a dexterity check of some sort. Like acrobatics or something. Ten. You move very slowly forward. Starts it up at least, right? Grandma's driving the train. <laughs> uh, Lou's turn in. She's gonna try to sideswipe the devil again. That devil's still alive. Damn it! I mean, it's one hell of a devil. But um. <laughs> I also pick up any coins there in the in the in the cab. Right, you got five. Ooh, nice. He's like, I'm more loaded than boss. <laughs> well, he fails. He gets knocked and skidded on the ground again. Tenacious Dude. devil. And then this guy over here, right, is still up, or no? I guess, yeah, but his master, yeah, he's just headed towards the master. All right. Dang. That's some serious rotor lash from Lulu. Yeah, I got some rotor lash. I'm going to be picking stones out of my, out of my scales for weeks. <laughs> Is it my go yet, or is it still Lulu's go? It's, uh, I think it's your go. 
All right. So I got eyes on the necromancer. The necromancer, she thinks she's a badass, doesn't she? Probably. Mm. All right, guys. Killer. I'm counting on this. Let me tell you what I'm going to do. I still got two sorcery points yet left. I will burn one of them. So that she cannot counterspell me. <laughs> and I will throw down whole monster on her. My ire turns to her. She's a humanoid. It it affects all it creatures. Affects whole all monsters. Creatures. Yeah, whole monsters are stronger than whole person. Choose a creature. Yep. So she's got to make a uh what is my That's DC? It. 16 the DC 16 wisdom save. DC 16 wisdom save. Mm -hmm. Or she's paralyzed. Okay, plus two. Get it, get it. Damn. Ah, oh, damn. All right. That well, would have been nice. It would have. That would have been nice. Yeah. It was worth a shot. It was it was worth a shot. I'm gonna scream at uh Lulu to stop the car. Aim aim for the bitch and stop the car. Park it over her. You got that? Alright. Yeah, I got that. Alright. That's okay, it is your turn. I'm going to fire two more shots at the devil behind us. <laughs> oh, he's just on the ground. He just he kills a javelin. Harpoon just shot right at him. One pm 25. That'll hit. That's over. I can do ready. So that will turn. He gets back on his bike. Starts chasing Fucking you. Fucking devil. No, you know, someone just tried to slash at him. He's going to go after the Eric Now, All right, probably then. Ground level. So now what's going to happen? It's going to take two attacks. One with its fork and one with its tail. All right. Uh, what did I get? 22. That hits. 10 damage. Okay. No, no, wait, that one's 15. All right. The next one should be 10 damage. 17. That, that also hits, so that's... All right, you take uh, 10 damage. And then a constitution saving throw. Mm, 11. Uh, roll oh. 3. Uh, 3d6. Alright. 14. That's how many hit points you lose this round from the infernal wound. Right then, I am already looking very low. Let's let's just say I am not the tank. <laughs> oh, I need to make a need to make a two concentration saves. Nope, uh, Zephyr Strike is gone. And now it's the oh jeez, <laughs> can't take it easy on you guys. I can't. got 
Going of cold. Payback's a bitch, and so is she. Hmm? No counter spell? All right. I can counter spell, but I think I will counter spell. What's the counter spell? Uh, it's a DC 15. So there's there's a good chance. This is a 50% chance. It's higher than 50%, but let's see if you get it. Yes! Yes! It was counter spelled. Just barely. I know. <laughs> You've gone so horribly wrong. <laughs> Barely, Barely still, still counts, counts. And, you know, I'm, and I'm gonna say Vazak, smash that bitch. Oh, with pleasure. Now it's your turn, uh, Robert. Uh, well, Krakir is just has a big, uh, big smile on his face as he is uh, carving into this uh, devil. And uh, I will uh, use my bonus action to hunter's mark. Using a second level slot. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, hang on, let me see something. No, yeah. And I will uh, just uh, start curving into him again. So, first one. Uh, favorite enemy plus Hunter's Mark. All right, first attack. 12! Is it 12 hit? 12 misses. That is a miss as well. You know, I have a tradition for critical fells. Oh, you do? All right. Let's see what it is. I actually do I... flames right out of your hand. I'm glad I have a second short sword. <laughs> <laughs> I will draw that second so short sword. And that is my turn. Uh, Rit, it is your turn. Kirkir just kind oh, of laughs very loudly. My... Oh. No, that started his turn. Am I, am I way, way, way? Oh, wait, no. Let me read that real quick again. Yeah, you might be behind that other car that's coming up to oh, us. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, Robert? Yes. Roll me another 3d6. I don't get another con save? Uh, you do get a con save, actually. Okay. Don't know if I will see. Yeah, no, another 3d6. All right, then. I'm still alive. I'm looking very hurt, though. I'm not, I'm not dead, but I'm really badly burned. I mean, Craig here just still has a big old smile on his face. Okay, so what is Ray going to do? So, how far away am I? Uh, I'd say you're. Probably like say. Uh, oh, concentration. Alright, here it is. Stay on the concentration. Like, like, like can I? Or... Oh yeah, you can uh, reach the uh, necromancer if you wanted to. Okay. Um, I will drive up towards the necromancer and grab it with the claw. <laughs> <laughs> what what roll do I make to grab it with the claw? Okay, let's see. It's okay. Claw. It is an attack plus 10. Woo! Does a 13 hit? Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm assuming it doesn't. Be 10. Not a D20, though. 13. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, you're right. My that, bad. That, that's a D10. That's, yeah, that's, that makes things much worse, yeah. Um, does it both? That's still a <laughs> D10. <laughs> Damn. Even worse than the D10. <laughs> does it 12 hit? Come on, that 12's gotta hit. 
Steel rolled a D10, I think, or is that a two? Oh, two. No, you just rolled a two on a D20. <laughs> I rolled a three on a D10. I was better off. Oh, three. just hit. <laughs> so basically, I just got to not critically fail, right? <laughs> uh, so, we, so he is grappled. Yeah, she, she's grappled and or restrained. She, sorry, grappled and restrained. Awesome, oh, sweet. Oh, wait, she has to make a deck saving throw. Oh, yeah, she gets a deck saving throw. Then why do I have to attack if she gets a deck saving throw? Is that? Uh, she's not grappled and restrained, but you did grab her, so she's being picked up. Okay. I think that's all I can do, right? Yeah. That kind of thing? Except you're kind of right here. I'm driving. I'm driving, and I grab her. Well, you're, you're not picking her up, picking her up, right? You're just trying to restrain her? Yeah. Because he's trying to keep well, her at ground level, right, for... I'm I'm using the claw, right? Um, it'll probably pick her up. I'm assuming, right? But I could be wrong. Like it's probably like one of those crane claws that like grabs when you lift it, right? I think it's like one of those claw machines at uh, arcades. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh darn it! I have to put it in our soul coin. Oh, do I have to put soul coins in to grab things now? <laughs> Wait, is it a crane machine where the crane actually works and doesn't just drop everything it picks up? <gasps> Dropping uh, would work too. Dropping would work, yeah. See, that's not a good reason to pick it up. Can you just like use the crane like a like a giant wrecking ball? Just like yeah, can what? he? Yeah, can he pick her up and then immediately just release it? He could. I don't think. But... No, but, he, but she succeeded on her DC, so not for this round. Lou's going to park and let you out? No, she needs to drive up to her, to the necromancer. And then let us out. And then like, let you guys out. Yeah, ideally she would have parked over the necromancer, but Rid had to go <laughs> pick her up. I think, I think Lulu's too nice to do that. Yeah, Liz is too nice. Uh, now it's your turn, Spiffy. All right. So she is. Is she grappled, restrained, any of that? Nah, she's just dangling from one leg by a giant claw uh, on the ground level. All right. Um. All right, ground level, you said? Yeah. You okay. still ram into her. You can run her over. I think running over someone's a perfectly valid uh, attack action. Yeah, but it's Lulu driving. Oh. L Lulu was too nice. Lulu was too nice. She's like, oh, but I look screamed. At her. I screamed. I scream at Lulu <laughs> as I climb out of the car. Um, Vazek, do you want to breathe on her? Or do you want to slice her up? A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Uh yeah, it will count as an attack. Yeah, so I could break down a slice. No, no, it'll count as your action, sorry. Ah. No, let me slice her. Alright, then. Um I will I will cast Dragon's Breath then on my uh, on my uh, Maltese Falcon. Uh -huh. So let me go ahead and throw that out. But I'm going to cast it at level four. And that's bonus action. 
So uh, my Amaltis Falcon will attack it. So that's 3d6, 4d6, 5d6. Really? 12. 12 points of uh, um, acid damage. Save. Huh? Deck save. It's a deck save, yes. I mean, it could be a lot worse. You could have rolled another one on one of the two dice. Yeah. Alright, so it's six points of acid damage. And... Um, I will ch I will chill touch her. Actually, you know what? No. I'm going to Is there anybody else? Is there anybody in this car or is that car goner? This car is about to fall apart if she dies because it's undead. She made that drives it. Oh yeah. Ooh, undead car, nice. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, so oh, then in that case, are... I will use my breath weapon on her. Oh, breathe. So that is a DC, also a DC 16. So I'll come over here and do that. So that is... I guess I should have rolled. I should have clicked the breath weapon here. Or it's DC 14, sorry, but either way. Man, what a shitty set of rolls. Six. Six points of acid damage. How do you do this? Yes! Yes! <laughs> she, uh. Yeah, she's, get, she's getting a double whammy of just acid's breath on her. Uh, and yeah, she's just gonna melt. She melts. This machine stops. Uh, I'm melting. I'm melting. And your comrades alone with a infernal uh, uh, devil, horn devil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, he he doesn't seem to have a problem with that. He seems to be enjoying himself. Um, I'm gonna. Does she have a coin? Uh, yeah, she sucks up into a coin. Also, does she have any loot on her? Uh, loot. Uh, Anyways, we can discuss the loot after the the devil's dead. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, that's my go. All right, Vazic, it is your turn. All right, I'm gonna hop out of the car, look at the necromancer, and just go. Oh, he broke it. <laughs> Turn around, look at the devil. I'm pretty much in range to run it, I think. 40 foot speed, 20 foot each square. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to run at him and just jump on top of him on top of his bike. Try and grab him. So he's off his bike, he's been road riding. Oh. All right, then I'll just charge up to him and slice at him. All right. That hits. That hits. Twenty eight damage. Hello, my friend. <laughs> oh, this is fun, no? Ah, it's exhilarating. <laughs> hmm. Still up. I didn't know who they were fucking with. For sure. Me and you, big boy. Let's go. Throw hands. And let's go. Here we go. Now it's his turn, and he's going to hurl flame. Two. 
is an attack roll plus seven. Is that a disadvantage because it's a ranged attack? Uh, is it a ranged spell? Oh, yeah, it is a ranged spell. Then I guess, uh, fork on, fork on the Paracrocra. Okay. Yep, that hits. Let's it's see if he knocks. Advantage. I am unconscious. And tail on the barbarian. Wow, it hits. And you gotta make a constitution saving throw. Oh, that shouldn't have been advantage, but 22. You are, you take only 10 damage and you're good. You didn't get an infernal wound. Good to know. <laughs> and that's its turn, and now it's that's a save. Hey, okay, that's uh, yeah, that's my Perfect turn. Save of this uh, campaign. Hey, waka waka. There we go. Okay, I I I drive my vehicle. Up to the devil. Um, Zoom. Is the, is the claw a, an attack? It's an attack, but it's also a save to see if you can pick them up. It's like to see if you can it's grab true. them and then pick them up. Well, Pack Tactics doesn't care about the type of attack, so... Oh my god. I that <laughs> with my claw? So you can use Pack Tactics on your claw. Evil, evil little cobalt. Uh, twenty six. Twenty six picks him up. Uh, picks him up, but he also has to make a deck saving throw. And he fails. Let's go! And our uh, word. Where is the word? Uh, word. On the air call. <sighs> on, 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 on Big Birdie. Big Birdie now gets four hit points. Predator. It's not Matt. Oh no, you're not grave, you're death. Thank you, my little reptilian friend. Well, I, I can't have my friends uh, visiting Kelmodar, Kel, Kelmodar too early. Right, right. Lulu, see if you can find us a good vehicle, a better vehicle to drive. One that's not all completely beat up. You want a wrecking ball or a claw machine? Wrecking ball. So I'm telling her to just go scavenge, see what what other vehicles we can add to our. What? We'll go look for new vehicles. Fifty, it's your turn. The Horn Devils now train, <laughs> put several feet up in the air. Okay, so Maltese and I are gonna go over. Uh, Maltese is going to do the dragon's breath on it. Being uh, gonna fly up and do dragon's breath on it. Yeah, and so that is a dex save. Which you'll probably automatically fail. Yeah, since it's restrained. Still up, but not looking good. So 18 points of acid damage, right? Still up, but not looking good. Okay, so that was the that was my falcon's action. Oh crap! You're a spell slinger. <laughs> <laughs> um, ah, good shit. Let me go ahead and just uh uh, let's see. 
So when he's restrained, do I have advantage against attack rolls against it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it has disadvantage on deck saves, right? Yes. So it's both. Yes. And its speed is zero. Nice. Okay, so I'm just going to hit it with a chill touch with advantage then. Which is a crit. Let's go. <laughs> 21 points of necrotic damage. 21 points? Yeah. How do you do this? Hey. I just scream out. I'm like, you didn't know who you were fucking with. And then I point, and then a spectral hand just chokes the shit out of that devil. Ripping its horns off. Because that's kind of like my thing, ripping it horns off. It sucks up and lands as a soul coin, and it falls and falls. It smacks you right in the head. <laughs> I like pop my wings. Ah. And now I've got a. And now Shades has an indentation in his forehead <laughs> of the imprint of the coin. I'm like, yep, this is karma. <laughs> I will retrieve my arrows. Only getting now six left. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Toby's caught on. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> How does that feel? <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, that was quite the battle. <laughs> ah, oh, well, how are you all feeling? Do we need some good berries? Oh, I love good berries. I'm fine. Good. I'm ready Oof. for round two. Oof, same here. I haven't <laughs> had a good brawl like that in a while. <laughs> Ooh, I actually felt the film. this is where we're going to have to stop. All right. Oh. Yeah, so let's scavenge the... What was on that necromancer? I want to know what goodies were on her. Let me check what goodies were on the necromancer. Oh, we're also going to scavenge everything. All right, so... All right, here was what was on the boars. Uh, three spy coins. The circlet of blasting. I'm writing it down. Hang on. Three soul coins. Stuck a little blasting. Blasting. Next thing. Uh, oh, that's a bit of a bus. Well, that, that's yeah. just. Well, that's just from the boards. Yeah, and they don't. Yeah. And all the roast pork we can eat for a week. Roast <laughs> pork. Vazic does not seem thrilled by that. Yeah. But but the roast pork is actually it's gold foiled coins with pork in the middle. Alright, I added another those I added those three soul coins to my character sheet. Okay. So okay. do we are, are there any other soul coins that I need to account for? Yeah. Let's let's do them one at a time. Yeah, um, yeah, that's fine. What's the chain devil Your, got? Chain devil's got like ten soul coins plus the chain devils, so it's eleven. Eleven, yeah. Okay. Any magic items? Uh, magic items? No, unfortunately. Which I thought that was kind of a bust. There's all these warlords, but there's no magic items. Well, it's... we got like eight vehicles now. Oh yeah, we each got our own car now, basically. <laughs> basically. <laughs> um, am I able to find more arrows? We could start our we could start our own car dealership. Oh, dude, that's an amazing idea. Give pick, Ma pick Mad up. Marge a run for her money. Put her out. Crazy, crazy shades. Crazy maybe, maybe shades. We could, maybe we could just we could just sell these uh, a lot of the cars we don't need. <laughs> crazy shades. Okay, used so autos. Many coins. Crazy shades used autos. <laughs> but uh. Anything from uh, from the hobgoblins? Uh, the hobgoblins, no, no, nothing but the solid coins. So the first solid uh, coins. So it's like, uh, let's see, two, 
six. Oh, jeez. How many Two's, coins, friend? Uh, six. Sixteen, seventeen more soul coins. Holy shit! Yeah. All right. Oh. So, uh, where's so nine, what's nineteen plus seventeen? That's that's thirty six. Wow. That's what we're up to now. And is that everything? That's everything. <laughs> the price isn't crazy. You didn't get it from shades. <laughs> <laughs> good, good logo. Good, good slogan. But uh, what are we going to do with all these cars? I don't think... Hmm, let's see. Maybe we could do like a little jerry rig thing where we attach all the cars to like the big ones. Yeah, we could and have then... the claw grab the grab the wrecking ball and drag it behind. It's, well, it's not like we'll have a couple tow trucks now, right? Yeah, basically. Yeah. I think we could sell it. Yeah, okay. So we also... Um, hmm. well, it's gonna you be said a there was a circlet of... of blasting and what else? That's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. This is circulator blasting. Who wants it? I do not want it. I don't want it. I don't think I can have it. I have to attune to it. I think it shoots. It shoots scorching rays. We could sell it. No, man. Does our barbarian need it? It gives our barbarian a ranged attack, basically. Right. Yes, but <laughs> yes, but we are in the house. It will not be. It will be an even less effective range. Hey, attack. whatever. It's something, man. I mean, if you if you want it, you can have it. I don't know if it will fit around your arm, but it it or around your head. It's not an attunement item, so. No, actually, it's not. Attunement, but it's only one use per day. One's good. Still, all right. Still a blast so away. If that's all, uh, I guess we can wish everybody a good night. Yep. Ah yes. Thanks for... Yeah. Thanks good for night, watching, y'all. Was there any was there anybody on the stream chat? We we didn't even check, did we? Uh I've been checking periodically. No one's been in chat. Yeah. Alright. Well but we got we got a couple people in. Cool. Mm -hmm. Alright. Well thanks. Uh, any announcements, Michael? Uh uh I'm uh I mean if uh there's been a change in plans. Uh the new campaign uh by Ozzy and crew for D D that we're doing on that I'm doing on Saturdays with them. It's going to be the 25th of July, I believe, start. And we'll be hosting it on this channel. So if you don't can't find the channel it's being streamed on, it will be hosted on this channel. So other than that, uh, um, catch me next weekend for Conan uh, 5e on Saturday, as I'll be hosting that stream as well. And... Uh, Anybody else got any other announcements? Wait. Um, I don't believe we'll, or at least I won't be playing next week. Yeah, next week we won't be having a stream. We're just going to take a break. Yep. Oh, I thought we were doing Star Wars that week, next week. Well, well it's Independence streaming. Weekend, so. Oh, right. Right. Oh, yeah, America Day. <laughs> yeah, wear your masks. Yep. Be safe. Uh, uh, I can't think of anything else. Throw big parties. Don't no. Don't do that. Don't be <laughs> safe. Be safe. Don't don't do that. Don't listen to me. Do <clears throat> do more online D and D. Yes, yes. Online D and D is awesome. See, that's why we should be playing next weekend, right? <laughs> I I'd I'd love to play next weekend, but um. But I'm personal not gonna stuff. be in town. Yeah. yeah, personal stuff. Personal stuff. So, personal all right. Stuff. So let's end the stream. So thanks everybody. Everybody say bye. bye, -bye. Goodbye.